Sam Broadcaster Cloud supports live streaming. What this means is that you can send a live signal from your own computer to the cloud and that will be rebroadcasted to your listeners. In this video, we will quickly show you how to set up your first live broadcast. To do a live broadcast, go to the live control area and here you will see you have a few options of connecting your live stream. You can use live, you can use the Sam Broadcaster Live DJ application, which is included free with your Sam Broadcaster Cloud. Or if you have a Sam Broadcaster Pro, you can use that. Alternatively, you can use any IceCast2 compatible source. Today, in this quick overview, we will only show you how to connect your Sam Broadcaster Live DJ. You can click on the question mark here to open up the product information. Here you have a product key generated for your subscription and you can download the software. Once you've completed downloading and installing Sam Broadcaster Live DJ, the next step would be to sign into your Sam Broadcaster Cloud account. I'm going to do the so here on my screen here. And if you have multiple stations like I do, you have to pick which one you want to broadcast to. I'm going to choose Sam Cloud Hits. And now I'm signed in. I'm going to jump to desktop B, which I've previously configured to be more focused on the live broadcasting. And I will show you how to do your first live broadcast. I'm going to go ahead and start my deck and mute the studio so we don't have any distracting audio in the background. And I'm going to go ahead and connect my encoder to the cloud. And you will notice that currently the Sam Broadcaster cloud is on air and my live stream is saying it's streaming but buffering. So it's not on air yet. The buffer first needs to fill up and then the system will automatically switch to the on air to the live source to the on air source once the buffering is completed. You can see that took about 20 seconds on my side. Depending on your settings, it might take a little bit longer or a little bit less. You can also, right now I'm streaming music, but I could also be using my microphone and doing a live talk show. Alternatively, I could right click here, say add, add mic line in and maybe have an external source like a live broadcast coming or a live show being recorded. Once you're done with your broadcast, all you need to do is disconnect your encoder. And after the cloud has finished playing every, all the audio that's in the current buffer, it will fall back to the Sam Broadcaster cloud. And this should happen in a few seconds, so just give it a moment, and there you go. So the cloud system took over again. Let's just do another live broadcast so I can show you what's happening on the web interface. So I'm going to go ahead and connect my live stream again. And you will see that on both the software and the web interface, it instantly shows that my live stream is connecting. The other thing you will notice is that it shows me that I'm connected as demo at spatial.com. So if you have multiple live DJs, you'll see um, who's connecting and who's streaming currently. The song is about to change. And what you will notice, it will also show you what track is currently playing on the live stream. So very easy for you to monitor what's going on. Then also, um, because I'm in the on-air source and my song just changed, if I jump back to the library, you will notice that currently trying, playing track is also available in my history and it's kind of grayed out to indicate that it was a live, this track played from a live source. I think it's worth mentioning that there's a lot more options and features available around live broadcasting. For example, you can change between different modes you can also decide where the audio comes from, from the DSP or re being recorded directly from the sound card. Or you can archive what's being broadcasted to a physical file on your machine. You can connect multiple live streams at the same time. That allows you to dynamically switch between those streams. And Sam Broadcaster Cloud 
acts as a nice backup to your live stream because if your live stream ever goes down you can the, the cloud system can take over and ensure that there's no downtime for your station the more advanced features will be covered in much more detail in a different video so be on the lookout for that and thank you for watching